Welcome back everyone. This video is about protein according to their function. Why is protein important? Generally speaking, proteins do everything in the living cells providing many essential functions in the body. Our body needs dietary protein to supply amino acids for the growth and maintenance of our cells and tissues. Insufficient dietary quantities of even one amino acid can quickly limit the synthesis and lower the body levels of many essential proteins. Adequate intake of protein is particularly important during periods of rapid growth or increased demand such as childhood, adolescence, pregnancy, and breastfeeding. Protein is found throughout the body and they can be categorized according to their structure, properties, and function. This short video will be about proteins according to their function. The different functions of proteins are enzymes, hormones, transport proteins, immunoglobulins, structural proteins, storage proteins, energy source, and osmotic force. Enzymes are proteins which act as biological catalysts regulating the rate of biochemical reaction. Since enzymes can be used over and over again, only a small quantity is required to catalyze a reaction. Examples of groups of enzymes tested in the clinical laboratory used for diagnosis are the transaminases, dehydrogenases, and phosphatases. In medicine, enzymes are used in promoting wound healing and killing pathogenic microorganisms. Enzymes also have industrial applications like fermenting of wine, leavening of bread, brewing of beer, and curdling of cheese. Hormones are proteins that are chemical messengers which aid one part of a body to communicate with the other part of the body by sending signals. In animals, they are directly released into the bloodstream by endocrine glands and circulate throughout the body until the target tissue or organ is found. Examples of hormones tested in the clinical laboratory using blood, urine, or saliva are insulin, testosterone, growth hormone, follicle-stimulating hormone, and cortisol. Transport proteins are proteins that serve the function of moving or transporting other materials and substances within an organism. Examples of commonly measured transport proteins are hemoglobin that transport oxygen, albumin that carries hormones, vitamins, and enzymes, and transferrin that binds iron and transports it throughout the body. Immunoglobulins, or antibodies, are produced by B lymphocytes that provide essential immunologic protection against life-threatening infections. Examples of immunoglobulins are IgG, IgM, and IgA. Structural proteins are proteins that provide structure. These are fibrous proteins and have been discussed in the previous video. Collagen, elastin, and keratin are examples of structural proteins. Storage proteins serve as biological reserves of metal ions and amino acids used by organisms. They are found in plant seeds, egg whites, and milk. Perhaps the most thoroughly studied storage protein is ferritin, which stores iron used as a component of heme. As an energy source, protein is not usually used for energy. However, if the body is not getting enough calories from other nutrients or from the fat stored in the body, protein is used for energy. The osmotic force or colloid osmotic pressure is normally created by plasma proteins. This is a physiochemical phenomenon that occurs when large or impermeate proteins like albumin do not diffuse readily across the capillary membrane, resulting to the absorption of water into the blood vessels thereby promoting the osmotic pressure of plasma. So why are proteins important? Because every function in the living cell depends on proteins. It participates in practically every process of a cell. It plays a part in the metabolic and biochemical reactions. They are a major component of the immune response. It provides the same energy density as carbohydrates. It serves as a structural component for building bones, muscles, cartilage, and skin. And it provides a means of transporting materials within the body and many more. That is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Created using Powtoon.